Good morning, happy Monday. So what would count as an incredible day? Think about all the weird things that could happen. Money falling out of the sky. UFOs flying in the air. Monsters landing in your garden. Success. Achievement. Getting things. Buying things. Doing things. What does success or a good day look like to you? For some of you, success is what others will do for you. If people treat you nicely, if you're given certain things. It's not really about what choices you make or the decisions you take or where you go or what you do. You're pretty much passive and if people are nice to me, my day is good, but I'm not responsible for my day being good. And I would argue that that's really not the greatest way to think about what it is to have a good day. If something out of the ordinary were to happen to you or land in your garden or, as we said, money falling from the sky, these are not things that we're necessarily or really in control of. Surely having a good day or at the start of a brand new week, it's really about what you do, the choices you make, the decisions you take. Or if you're not ready to make choices and you don't feel mature enough to make a decision or making a choice scares the living daylights out of you because then I really will be responsible and then I really can't blame anybody else. I would suggest to you that at a second level, so I think the top level is taking responsibility, but if you can't take responsibility for what you do, you're not ready for that challenge yet, then at the very least, what you must do is change the way you look at what happens to you. If you're criticised, don't allow that to ruin your day, but Assume that someone actually cares enough to want to help you. It's really true. People that don't care about you won't be bothered by what you do. But if they do care about you, they're going to get in your face again and say, you really shouldn't be doing that. So if you're finding yourself attracting negative attention, rather than getting angry and frustrated, just say thank you. Thank you for caring about me. Clearly, my own actions suggest that I don't care much about myself because I'm choosing foolishly. But the fact that you care, that you want me to stop, you want me to be more positive, you want me to make better choices, thank you. That's incredible. So I'm sure there are loads of people in, in life that don't give two hoots and couldn't care if you self-destruct. So option number one this week, think what it would be to have a good week. Then think about how you're going to achieve that. If you're into the passive thing, how you react to what happens could change your week. If you appreciate the interactions, if you appreciate the care, brilliant. You miss those opportunities to express thanks and instead you get frustrated, then not only haven't you made a choice, but you're not allowing yourself to reflect carefully about how people treat you. But better still, if you're the ones making those choices, make the best possible choices. Enjoy your week. Take care, think, and be successful. Have a good day.